Hello everyone and welcome back. So today's mani tutorial is on this lovely oogie boogie Halloween themed manicure and I have the tips prepped with black and the green gel polish that was used which is this is thermal which is glitter temperature color changing yellow green to green from Beauty. It was in part of a collection that I had gotten on Amazon. I'd used V-Shine's black gel polish that any black gel polish will do. I used One Door's No Wipe Top Coat. Any No Wipe Top Coat will go. Will you work just fine? I also used Born Pretty's Top Coat to help solidify. This is a higher shine, um, more durable top coat. So I use this for the actual top coating process and not the um, chrome powder process. So I use the one door for the chrome powder process. Um, the chrome powder we are using is Wicked from Maniology. It's this lovely, beautiful green, which is on the middle finger here. And I used, I'm, I'm not even going to try to pronounce this, but this is a magnetic silver. We are going to need a magnet. I forgot to grab one, so I'm going to grab one here. Grab my little magnet here. And where is it? There it is. I also used Born Pretties. This is a lovely green from one of their collections. I had in one of my PR videos for them, this is what I'd gotten from them. It was one of their collections. I will have the links below for both the top coat and the, um, the collection this is from. And we used Bite from Sinful Colors. Polarized P116 from Maniology. Plenty Pink from Maybelline. Tropic Talks from Maybelline. Turquoise Teas from Maybelline. Energy Source from LA Colors. Daydreaming from LA Colors. Wander from LA Colors. And Straight Up Black from Maniology. B171. So any black stamping polish will do. Okay, onto our plates. Okay, so we have MXM 063. M165. M398. And Motine 043. I got the Motine plate from Amazon. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with our tutorial. So we're going to start with the magnetic nails here. And we're going to go ahead and put our layer of silver. Let's get this cat hair out of here. And we're going to take our magnet. Gonna get this shine going here. going to go in from the top and the bottom and ever so slightly to the sides. 
work at moving it towards the center. Like so. I'm going to go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds. We're going to do this on the thumb and the pinky. shine going. Then we're going to go up. Round. Get that in the center. Okay. Good time. Swap a roosies. All right. Get that one going. And now we're going to take this lovely jelly green from Born Pretty and we're going to top coat top over this with it. We're going to go ahead while waiting on the lamp and take MXM 063 in straight up black. Stamp over the index and the ring, this lovely patchwork pattern. Like so. go over with the green again on the snail just like we did I'll put the green over the pinky like we did the thumb and toss it in the lamp That is all we use this plate for. And we're going to go ahead and grab M165. So there is an alternative plate to the MXM plate. M165. 
second so I'll be able to show you. So if you're not able to get the MXM plate, they did release one similar image right here on M519. It's a good substitute. We're going to go ahead and grab these dice images and do it twice. And those dice images are the only images we need from that. Okay. So let's go ahead and fill those in. So that way while those are drying, I can work on the thumb and the pinky. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take Wander. From LA Colors. And we're going to outline the inside of the dice blocks. with this color. Like so. Okay. Oh man, I accidentally dipped it outside of the image. I'm gonna have to go in with my brush. So I explained this in the pedicure video, I don't think I mentioned it in this one, but the reason why I was unable to give you guys the filming on directly on my hands is I had a wedding to attend and I didn't have time to film my hand and I was not going to go to the wedding with one hand done and the other one not. So I, um, I just quickly did my hands up and um, just said we'll go ahead and do tips for the tutorial. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and use Daydreaming to fill in the rest. And then we'll go over white once that's dry enough behind it to make sure that there's no sheerness to it. Because 
Daydreaming is very sheer, so it needs something behind it. So while those are drying, we're going to work on the thumb and the pinky again. And this is the only spot that you're going to use daydreaming and wander. off to the side for the moment. We're we'll waiting on that to dry some. Okay, so now we're going to go back to the straight up black and we have this lovely gradient brush right here that we're going to use. And we're just going to get a little bit of polish on the end and then we're going to go around the bottom, tapping it in. Around the edge. Just very gently Tapping around the edge of the nail. like so. Clean my brush. Don't want that drawing in it. And I'm going to go ahead and top coat this. The warm pretty top coat. go back to the dice momentarily now that it's had some dry time and we're going to fill in with energy source
let's check out our handiwork here. That's what it'll look like. And go ahead and grab our pinky tip. So we're going to do the same thing to the pinky that we did to the thumb. Okay. And we're just going to go ever so gently around the edge of the nail, tapping it in. Go ahead and top coat. And toss that in the lamp. And grab the index and go ahead and tilt the dice where the top die is facing to the left and center it. And we're going to do the same thing but in the opposite direction. The top die is facing to the right. Center it, place down. We're going to grab the middle finger and we'll take our one door no wipe top coat. Do a layer. You want to cure for 30 seconds. The powder works better with the top coat if you cure for 30 seconds versus 60. And you also want to make sure that you apply it as smoothly of a finish as possible. Make sure there's no hairs or dust or anything in there because any imperfections will show in the powder. And that's what I'm fighting with right now. There's a hair in there. And I just accidentally put the stupid thing back in there. Cool. But any perfection is going to show up in that if there is any. So when I put the chrome powder on, you will see any bumps or lumps <laughs> that may be in it. Okay, so the pinky is done.
and stuff that in for 30 seconds. And then we're gonna go in with our chrome powder. I'll grab my silicone tool here. You can use a sponge, a makeup sponge. You can use a eyeshadow applicator. You can use a silicone tool like this. Just do not touch with your fingers, please, unless you are wearing gloves because the repeated exposure of buffing that into the top coat could cause an allergy. There's some, it looks like there's some imperfections. We're going to see it. We're going to see it just a moment. Be okay. So. A little powder goes a long way. I'm barely tapping my tool into it. Now it's time to burnish this in. There we go. Look at that beautiful shine. And there it is, the imperfection spots I was saying. Right here and here. That was the top coat not being there. It's separated from that spot. Should have done a second top coat first. Oh well. That will get covered anyway, so it's not a big deal. Okay, I'll clean my tool. Just in case I have to fix any oopses with the stamping itself, I don't want it to take the powder and cause more oopses to fix. So, as a precaution, we are going to top coat this again. And then I would recommend doing that in the actual process. I did it on myself as well when I applied this design to myself because I did not want to take any chances. Yes, it adds a little bit of thickness, but it's better than having to add a lot of thickness because you had to redo the chrome powder too. Always prepare for the inevitable mistakes <laughs> or, you know, Fails, I guess, would be the, I wouldn't say mistake, so much as fails. Because if you don't prepare for them, you're more likely to have them, I find. <laughs> so, actually, before I do that, let's go ahead and pull our stamps for the other stamps. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go to M398 for this worm image. We're waiting on that. And that is the only image we need from that. And 
then we're going to pick up Oogie Boogie from the Motin plate. That is all that we need for the nuts. So, let's stuff these back in their holders. Flip. Get a little bit cleaner of a surface here. We're going to need quite a few different polishes here. Right, there's that, that, and that. Two, we have Bite, Energy Source, Polarize, Plenty Pink, Tropic Talks, and Turquoise Teas for these. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go in with Bite from Sinful Colors on Oogie Boogie. Now that we've filled that in, we're going to set that off a little bit to the side. We're going to grab polarized. And we're just going to go in random order here. No specific orientation.
just do it. We're going to go in with turquoise teas. Same theory with polarized. We're just going to go in in a random orientation. That should do it. Okay, grab. Tropic Talks. And then the last, the rest of the worms will be done in plenty pink. Okay, we got them all. <laughs> I started preparing to do more and we got them all. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna take energy source and we're going to use that to fill in Oogie Boogie some more. So these are our worms. source or whatever white you would like to use. You can use BAM white or a white stamping another white stamping polish or another good white polish. I just use any energy source from LA Colors. It's, it's a nice, cheap, effective polish for this application.
Okay. So now we have finished filling in Oogie Boogie. So we have our Oogie Boogie. Give that a second to dry some. Answering the worms in just a second. Clean up around the edges here. Right. I'm gonna give Oogie Boogie just another second because I feel like he is not ready. I'm going to go ahead and top coat on the dice. If you decide to buy any of the Born Pretty or Maniology products, feel free to use either one of my codes. I have one for Born Pretty and one for Maniology. Just as a heads up, guys, it'll give you a 10% discount. They both are the same for discount and the, the code itself. And I get a small kickback from it, so that way it helps support the channel. So we're going to go ahead and take Oogie Boogie and we're going to center him on the nail. Place down. Okay. Go ahead and stick our top coat. We are almost there, guys. Just in time to need to charge my camera. <laughs> And there you have it guys that is how i created this lovely halloween oogie boogie manny nightmare before christmas theme 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And like I said, I will have some of the products linked down below. Um, and I have discount codes for both Maniology and Born Pretty. So if you want to buy any of the products that were used in this video from either of those companies, feel free to use my code to get 10% off as well as, you know, that helps support me. So benefits both of us. Um, and aside from that, I mean, if you guys want to help support this channel, go ahead and give a like comment below help get my videos out into the algorithm and if this is not your first time and you've liked more than one of my videos go ahead and subscribe that helps me get closer to ad revenue and that would help support all of the consumables that I am constantly using to create these videos and of course if we can get to a good point where it's not just help support the consumables then I can help try stuff for you guys and show you guys more new products um, and not just my sponsored stuff from Born Pretty. And my occasional when I have spare money from, you know, doing sets for friends and things like that, I'm able to occasionally get new product. So, um, you know, that helps a lot getting that much closer. For those of you who have already been doing all of that, thank you. You guys are awesome. You guys have been a big help, and I greatly appreciate you guys. So, um, I will be bringing out more Halloween videos for you guys here soon, of course, and um, my favorite season, so. <laughs> and we have officially hit a year, guys. Um, it's kind of scary to think it's already been a year since that first video, but it's it's been a year now. And unfortunately, I was not able to get my hands on the Steamboat Willie plate. It was sold out, and I haven't seen it come back yet. So when it does, I will do that for a video, but I just don't, I don't have the ability to get it right now. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, when I went in to get my order, there was not any in stock and I did put it on my favorites list so that way I will get notified when it is along with the notify me I will get notified when it's back in stock so hopefully I'll be able to get my hands on it here before long um, but currently I'm with it not being available I'm not able to get it right now so that is on my list of things to do I just unfortunately don't have the ability to do it right now so thank you all for watching and I hope you found this tutorial helpful uh, and or entertaining, whatever it may be that you are watching this video for. And thank you all for watching. So I hope you all are having a good morning, afternoon, evening, or night, whatever it may be, wherever you are at while you are watching this video. And until next time, guys, thank you all for watching. Bye.